Good morning there, sweetheart. Yes. And the boy's home for the weekend. Got a ball in his hand as usual. Looking good. Looking good. Just had a hot tub and a shower, right? Yes, indeed. Okay. Um, before we get to this, uh, let's go look at the uh, scraps that I'm going to make the uh, chicken coop out of and see what we can come up with. I do not want to spend a thousand dollars on new materials and I've got a bunch of different scraps and things that I think I can cobble together to make a half decent chicken coop. I've got all this wood here uh, which is definitely plenty for framing and uh, putting that part together and then I'm gonna use some of this. This again I just mentioned this earlier this is an old uh, shed so definitely can use some of it for there's like there's a roof definitely the roof will be usable and then maybe some of the side panels side panels aren't overly thick so i'm not sure if they'd have any insulating values but then neither does a, a sheet of plywood so uh probably going to use as much of this as i can these are the walls that that it is uh you know this actually might be more insulated have more insulating value than a sheet of plywood so i'm going to build the frame uh with this with these pieces in mind and then i'm going to uh, fit those on like a sheet of plywood so here's here's a full one here Looks like they're two feet by six feet. So we're gonna get those out. We're gonna get a size. Okay, that could be the floor. We're gonna measure these, and that's gonna determine the length of our coop. these side panels here is the floor for the shed but uh, it's not sturdy I mean if you built a frame you can use it as a floor I guess yeah maybe that'll work you could have to use quite a bit of it I mean you could make it four feet but unfortunately these roof panels aren't four feet Okay, we're gonna make it four by six. Uh, first of all, we need to uh, frame it up. Better go down there and help Colby close that gate. Can you do it without getting shocked? Good job. Good job, buddy. Good job hooking that back up. Pull out enough of this to frame it up. Six by four. Okay, so uh, the engineer slash Mrs. and I have decided that our coop is going to be the base here is going to be the size of the overall half this base, and then it's going to be two feet on this side, which is going to be a wall like this. You can use these walls and it's got already a window in it. And the other side is going to be one and a half of the, Ball. no, two of these, four feet. So four feet tall, it's going to have a slant roof, uh, the roof that we're using there. And then we're just going to need a uh, sheet of plywood for both ends. Not only because we need to cut it on the angle, two feet here. I don't know if that's making sense or not. And then uh, uh, if the two ends are plywood, then we can make a door on one side to open so we can scoop out the litter onto a uh, or into a wheelbarrow because it's going to be off the ground. And the other side, uh, you can make a nesting box with uh, two nests in it for four chickens. Should be okay, right?
who thinks I can turn this scrap heap into a chicken coop? <laughs> ah, we got walls, tools, and scrap lumber. And then this is the floor here. That'll be uh, on the second tier. So anyways, got a bunch of stuff. We'll see what we can frame up.
What do you think? I'm thinking that's the base of the chicken coop and they can poop on there and then uh, we can just open the little door and pull it out, scrape it out. And in the winter you can use that for a bedding pack and it'll be uh, off the ground. They can go down the bottom to scratch around in the dirt in the summertime. Two by fours on the outside. Interesting. It's not come out very square up and down. Oh yeah, look at that. That's actually level. Why was that so far from level? Wow. That's level. So we'll fix that by kicking the bottom in where it should be. Huh? Like I said, to uh, do this, make the sides, attach them, start with some small screws here. So far, the bottom, two sides, gonna put a little gable roof on it, 30 degrees, anyways, and it's gonna be a good size, a little coop, way bigger than the ones you could buy online, and almost free. So far free. Alright, I hope I explained that properly. Uh, we got the recycled, repurposed uh, base from the plastic shed that I bought, I don't know, 15 years ago. And it deteriorated when we moved it over here on the back of a trailer and it started to come apart in the wind uh, on the highway. Anyways, uh, we threw it out back as I showed you and uh, that's the floor now, cut it down to size. And then these are the walls, using them full size or a couple of panels anyways, full size. Uh, I'm going to hope that this, yeah, this should work this way, but I am going to cut out a piece on this side, uh, on both ends. This side for laying box, that'll be a build out. And the other side just for a little door that it can flip up and then little latches that it can hold up and then you can stick a rake in there and scrape it out onto a wheelbarrow that you just pull up here, either with the ATV or just man your wheelbarrow, scrape the stuff out, we'll go dump it in the, uh, dump it in the uh, compost. So that's what I'm hoping. In order to make this uh, peaked roof, if that's 42, and you want center, it's 21. Alright, and then from the edge there, to the 21. Thing's pretty heavy, but I want to turn it around. I don't want to work on that side, and not, not a lot of room on that side. Nice and solid, that's for sure. Right, sweetheart? Right, sweetheart? <laughs> yes. You are a sweetheart, aren't you? Oh, I know. I know. You are the sweetest. You guys are the sweetest. 
The sweetest. Yes, you are the sweetest. The sweetest. The sweetest too. The sweetest. Hello, sweethearts. Sweethearts. Hey guys, sweet, sweet, sweet. Should I get you a cookie? Who wants a cookie? Check this out. I've been carrying these two frames or a few frames around forever. Uh, I think one time we bought them. I must maybe 30 years ago when my wife was into um, making picture frames out of mosaics or making mosaic picture frames is what it was. And so she would use these and glue, you know, broken tile onto them. And we've got a few of them in the house. They're lovely. But these ones have just been dragged around and around and around. I wonder if I could use these now for doors. Use it for a door, either just the frame of a door and then put the door on the inside or just use it for the whole door. I don't need it for the top because it's not going to have doors unless I decide to put one in the side here so that I could get at the chickens. Might put one there actually. That would frame in nice. Hmm, interesting. All right, we might be able to repurpose those babies too. All right, so right now I'm trying to figure out uh, the egg box, laying boxes. It has to be taller than that door I made on the other side for sure. Got this piece of wood here. Uh, if it was long enough to double it, 42, it would have to be 84. I can make it twice that high, not be high enough. Oh, look at that, that's 86. So I could double it uh, on end and then make it that tall high way. So if I did like this, Another one on top here, maybe that high, coming out, and then a roof on top of it. That'd be plenty big. Happen to have had this piece sitting over there that I was uh, using it as a backboard for my polishing wheel. Uh, that could be in the bottom. Uh, I should look up the dimensions of a laying box. Let's check it out. So I just looked it up while these two are going at it. Uh, lane boxes are 12 inches by 12 inches by 12 inches. So one square foot. So I'm going to lay it all out here. This piece of plywood that I found. This stuff on, that I can double up. I think it's like it's more than six inches. So I'm going to have more than enough. I think that's probably eight inches. Oh, it's actually uh, almost nine inches. So I don't even need the whole sheet of that for the side. And then this piece here, definitely, that is actually two feet wide. I only get one foot. Oh yeah, so I can easily make my laying boxes out of this scrap wood here. And not that YouTube minds that soundtrack, but it's constantly in the background. I got one more cookie for you guys. Who wants some one more cookie? Sit. Look how gentle she is. Watch this one. Not so gentle. <laughs> Watch your fingers. This is why you keep junk <laughs> for so long. Look at that. I'm gonna make this entire coop out of junk plywood. This one's really junk, but I'll find the best part of it.
All right, I need some pieces for the inside corners just to uh, glue it all and hold it all together. So I'm going to go with some one and a half inch. screw was coming up while I was flying. So, uh, I could get a sheet up if I had my glasses on too. Didn't have that on the entire time I was talking. Okay, anyways. So, not sure how much I said there, but anyways, this is it. Got the egg box here. Just need to put a couple dividers. Two dividers will be three boxes, laying boxes. We're going to have only four or five chickens. Uh, I'm going to keep this as plain and as unobstructed as possible. The feeder is going to go on the outside on one corner and then 90 degree in. They can just go and peck at it and it'll fall down the tube. And the other side is going to be the same with a water or external heated and then uh, I'll might insulate it on the outside and then it'll hopefully be able to go something goes inside I'm gonna go look at those tomorrow at Princess Auto these aren't exactly 12 inches and everything is 12 inches so should I have it like this and they could look over the top or should I have it like this Right over the top a bit. They could duck down if they really want privacy while they're laying their eggs. All right, notch this little bit out for the piece that I put in the corner there.
What do you think? That is the lane box. Oh, they don't want those tools in there. Tomorrow I'll go buy the feeder. I mean the water. And once again, it's cleanup time. This uh, anti-clogging device doesn't work very well. But it is good glue. All right, almost done here. Got the uh, layer and box all done. Got the, the uh, separators are in there. Uh, I got to take the glue out of there. And got the little lid there for it. So it lay in there, there, there. That's the lid. I just got to, I put the uh, ridge pole on there. So I just want to, uh, and I put these cross braces. So just got to put a couple of uh, cross beams there. And the lid, the roof. I was going to do the roof last so that I could um, do everything I needed to inside. So, uh, and I think right now the last thing I need to do inside is cut a hole in the floor right there for the chickens to go downstairs. So let's get that done now. So this is the uh, back side. I think I showed this side before. That's where the clean out is. And uh, I probably should have cut this hole in this floor before, but oh, I didn't want to do it until the end. But anyhow. I'm going to cut this hole right now for the chicken access to the bottom. And I'm going to try to keep it in between the ribs. There's ribs on the bottom of this. Uh, how, can I, how can I do that? It's upside down. Hang on. There's ribs on the bottom of this uh, piece of plastic that I used for the floor. So I'm going to cut the hole so that these ribs stay on the on either side. So I'll just cut it that exact size there. And that'll be the downstairs portion. So just got to mark that on the upstairs and then cut it. I think these actually correspond to those. Yeah, there I can actually see those ribs there. So if I just mark my line, make sure that I get them in the right spot. Maybe about like that. Okay, kids. If that hole's not big enough, then I'll just have to cut one one more notch over. But hopefully, that's big enough to the chickens to go down and into the uh, bottom. Let's get the skill saw in there and cut her open. Oh, actually, uh, now that I think of it, let's drill up in the bottom, of course. Then I'll know exactly where to cut. Right. One chicken hole. Maybe not. It's a little. Looks a little uh, steep. The chicken ramp is a little on the steep side. So that either has to land on a box, or I have to get a longer piece. Probably get a longer piece. 
These are so old. Got these at a garage sale about 20 years ago. They're probably at least that much more. Finally getting put to use. Just before I <laughs> meet the end of meet the end of my construction days. I'll get just some use out of them. Nice handles on that end. Anytime you want to uh, clean out the poop, you just have to scrape, scrape, scrape. Structure. Got uh, enough gap here for some uh, ventilation, and then we just have to, uh, might just have to uh, either put a little board, screw a little board up here for the winter if we don't want that much airflow, or stuff something in there. Okay, so uh, yeah, this is it closed up. Gotta wash it, paint the wood. And this, uh, turn this over, it's, it's bowed this way. And if I turn it over, it makes for a nice gap right along there. We'll notch it here so it can go underneath that piece. Uh, I'm probably still gonna put a, uh, a piece right in the middle here so that this doesn't uh, move around. It's pretty flimsy as it is. And then I just gotta put a bunch more screws inside to uh, screw it all in. And then some screws with rubber seals for the roof, the ridge cap, I have to buy some flashing and I'll buy enough so I can do the two ends. Here's what I mean by that. There'll be a, a ridge, ridge uh, flashing across here and then I'll use more of it just along here and there. Seal those in. It does have uh, a little bit of natural light right there. And uh, then of course it has a uh, get, out of, get out of jail free hatch there. And I'll just need a longer board there so that they don't uh, have to come down something that steep. Probably has to come almost right across the bottom. Then I just have to uh, put my wheels on and my chicken wire. Well, I got some flashing I bought at the uh, hardware store. The only thing I've purchased thus far for this coupe is that flashing, about $20 worth. And it's for the peak of the roof and the front edges just to make sure no uh, rain goes in there. So I have snips, snips of all kinds, right, left, and center. Uh, green is uh, right, red is left. No, I can't remember now. Maybe red is right, and green is left, and yellow is straight. But also these are straight. Uh, it's a very dirty drawer because, uh, yeah, I haven't cleaned it out since I had my uh, auto body shop in the other house. But anyways, I'm going to... Uh, use these super straights and snip a couple pieces for the front edges.
will sit right there. Nice. I'm good with that. Bingo and bingo. Okay. Throw it in right there. And the other side turned out so nice. So you see that little gap, the way it's sideways like that? Why is that turning out like that? When if we look at the other side, it's right in the center. I guess it was like that over there because it was on there. So anyway, I'm just gonna cut a little ditty out of here. And now when I throw it on, it's pretty straight. Again, chicken coop. Okay, there we go. Got the flashings on either end. All right, time for the roof. Uh, flashing is much more. Got her set up the way I want it. Trim that piece there. And that's the roof. Now a leak proof seal. Flashing at either end. Actually makes, makes it nice and clean. I'm going to paint the bits white so that'll all blend right in. Oh, chickens are on their way. Oh, the other thing I got to uh, do is fit this and drill a spot for that. That in. Much easier when it hasn't been already beat up. Let's see how it just fits in like that. Same goes all the way up like that. Perfect. Even it out. And then you put your other piece wherever you want it. Yeah, I like it. That's better actually. Then the feed won't get stuck. You just slide, you know, from the inside tube down through into there. That is a uh, four inch hole, so I need a four inch hole saw, which I have somewhere. Four inch. Danica, go outside. Go outside, you guys. You crack the jacks. Crack the jacks. Go outside. Go outside. Outside. I'm going to paint this thing. I know. I know. you got to go. Outside, go. Get going. Get outside. Go play outside. Go play outside. Go play outside. I'm not gonna listen, eh? How are you? Yeah, we're gonna play right here, Dad. We're gonna play right here. Bumping off the Porsche and getting in your way. Yes, I know. All right, the song here. out and there she is it's going to uh, attach something to the top all right there's the rest of the scrap just loaded it up on a little wagon here get it out of here and what's up pepper wake up, wake up. there's the uh, scrap pile has gone down considerably and that's what's left of the uh, shed uh, rest of the cut up pieces. Time to dump this out and clean this area up a bit. And here we go. See if I can do it without getting too much on the floor. Oh, it's already on the floor. <laughs> Haven't even started. And it's on the floor. Damn it. Put the newspaper down.
Here is the nearly completed coupe. Got the white paint on there. All the way around. There's the uh, feeder tube that I've placed. So far I've placed it in the uh, clean out uh, door, hatch. Fill it from the top, put a cap on it. Gotta buy that today. And then I just gotta put uh, the chicken wire around the bottom later today. And a door at the front that I'm gonna make out of, these are the roof panels, out of one of those uh, frames, we'll repurpose an old frame that we bought. I think I mentioned it earlier in the video. And I need a uh, piano hinge, I think I'm gonna go with for this lid here. Not sure what else to put on there. Uh, piano hinge would probably be best there. Although I do have it tucked under so that the rain wouldn't go in. I have it tucked under here, so I'm not sure if a piano hinge it's gonna work should work in that application and oh i need to uh, put a um a crossbar a uh, roosting bar inside that's about it maybe maybe two probably one's enough they like to get up there and get warm together from what i hear and then these came in the mail today the uh large uh, three gallon water and the reason we got this style is because we wanted to be able to fill from the top. I saw some other ones that were filled from the bottom that had the integrated heater in it. We're just going to go with this and then put the uh, heat, heat plate on the bottom in the winter time. And that heat will go up from the bottom and should keep the whole thing unfrozen. And then I like this too. It also has this uh, little fill nipple here so we can just run a hose outside of the coop. So we throw this in the coop and then... Uh, Run a hose out anywhere, a little tiny hole on the edge here maybe, and then you can put a funnel in there and, and fill it up that way as well. So that's probably going to be the easiest scenario for us. I guess it's a, it's really a, an air air hole, and then down there is another drain hole. I'm not sure how that exactly works, but should be fine. And then what else we got here? We just bought some, um, you know, shells, seashells that chickens need for... Um, of course, in this day and age, everything's Amazon. And we live in the country, so it makes it easy for us. Anyways, this is uh, chicken. Oh, crushed oyster shells. Oh, lovely. There's a chicken. Walk, walk, walk. So, uh, yeah, that's good for their, uh, get their uh, gullets, keep the gullets clean, I believe. And this is a, a bag of chicken feed. We just bought one just to start with. So when we got our chickens, they could get right to it. So we're going to do those last few things. I will take you along with me on those last items. And then we're going to be pulling it outside this weekend and putting it in the field. All right, just before I put the uh, chicken wire on the bottom, I wanted to put a little door on the side. So what I did was I took the skill saw and just cut out a little notch on this piece of two by four here. And that is going to allow the door to sit flush. Put it like that. It's going to sit right in there. I just got to chop that little bit out that the skill saw I didn't catch with a chisel here. Chisel. Hammer. Got to do all this one hand. Perfect. A quarter inch that way, and one inch down that way.
Hello, Pepper. Pepper, stop feeding the dog. It's time to go through. I'm not hungry. I guess you're not hungry. Did I say stop eating the dog food? Stop it. Go. 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 Stop eating the dog food. Great. All right, and to attach the roof, I just use these rubber seated roof screws. Just uh, using six of them because I don't want to have to have too many holes in the roof. Just barely seated on that plastic so as not to crush it. One there, one up front, and then I'll put three at the very peak once I put that flashing on top. All right, I was thinking about this last night and I came up with a new plan. What I was gonna do at first was just put this, put those wheels on this and put this underneath these four by fours and then be able to roll around on there. But probably would just slip off or I'd have to put some kind of clamps that would be very hard to do underneath there. So then what I thought last night is I'll drill holes through this 4x4, four four, just large enough for this, then slide it through, and then uh, put the wheels on. And then uh, if I put it anywhere there, these wheels would be tall enough that it would lift it up. How's that? One axle. Super simple Simon. Thank you. And the chicken coop has left the building. Last thing to do is put some of this more scrap chicken wire that I used to wrap around many of the trees when they were small around here. Many still are, <laughs> but now the large trees have grown. I took them off. I just need to staple that around. I think I'll staple it to the inside, and then it'll be all flat. You just go straight down the town. Like that. Just getting this last bit of chicken wire on here, and we'll have her closed in. It's around the door side there. I don't know. Just stapling up the last bits of the chicken wire and closing in our chicken poop. Danica always right there helping. Thank God for the electric stapler. I bought Shannon as a uh, gift. Was it Dave? Birthday? Something like that. Birthday, I think. 
All the way around, and got, her, got her done. Might put a couple of uh, clips in here just to tie these uh, ones together, and then looks like I might be let out of here. What's your head? All tested. Perfect. Uh, oh, that was a tough one. There it is. Finished contraption. Chickens coming Monday. This is the theater here. All right, we are moving the behemoth. Look at that. Like Cleopatra. Be here somewhere. All right, so this is our chicken man. What's your name? Ryan. Ryan? Ryan. Ryan. I'm Ed. And here are the chickens. What do we got? Six of them in there? Yep. Oh, they fit in that cage nice too, but I can't take the cage. So we're going to squeeze those into our little animal cages, are we? I think they'll be... Oh. Open that guy. Hi, chick. Hi. All right, well, I screwed that up. I didn't have the video on. I was taking pictures because I had my sunglasses on when I was moving the uh, chickens from the box into their new home. So anyways, here they are. Oh, look at that. They're all in there. Happy, looking around, going buck, buck, buck. Hi, ladies. How is everyone? They've got water. Look at that. I bought this water at a garage sale a couple years ago. Oh, and she just tipped over her food. Oops. Oops. Why? Why did you tip over your food there? Why did you tip over your food, dummy? Because I'm a chicken. Because I'm a chicken. I bought some, brought some breadcrumbs. We've been saving these breadcrumbs in the house. Drying them up. Because I hate to see all the ends of the bread go to waste. And now the chickens can eat them. Look, chickens. Have a breadcrumb. Look, they're like, what's that? That's not food. Yes, it is. Look, it is food. Eat it. All right, you can chew on those guys. And there they are. Look how happy they are. <laughs> They're squished in the back. Like, yeah, oh. they've already pooped. Little ice creams, chicken ice cream. It looks like they've been uh, already here bedding. Isn't that fun? So, there you go. Dannenberg chicken coop. So far successful. We gotta take a little shot. Oh, I even put a chicken camera in here. We'll see if we can get that sorted and uh, and looking at them. So what do you think, chickens? There's six, six of them. Look at that, they're already up on the roost that I made. Roost in action. Come here, little one. I'll go scare them from that side. 